Hans Christian Andersen, let's call him Hans, is best known today for his fairy tales. In his own time, he was better known for other writings, such as poetry, short stories, novels, autobiography, and his travelogues, at least to begin with. The fairy tales came a little bit later. He traveled all over Europe, Africa, Asia, and even to America. He spent a lot of time as a house guest to well-off benefactors, and even stayed so long with Charles Dickens at his home in Kent that the Dickens family had to ask him to leave. But that's another story. Here at Acorn Reader, I've read all the tales to you, like I once read to my boys, who are far too old today for anything of the sort. But I still enjoy to read, and this podcast gives me a chance to sit down and read in the evening and then put it out for anyone who might like to listen. I've tagged the Hans tales so you can easily sort them. You can select those that interest you and enjoy them at your leisure. There are, of course, the more famous ones, such as The Princess and the Pea, The Emperor Has No Clothes, The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling, The Little Match Girl, Thumbelina, and many more, but also a huge number of lesser-known tales that provide a view into the world Hans lived in his view of life in 19th century Denmark, his view of life in general during a time when the common man was on the ascendant and facing those same struggles we face today, fighting for justice, integrity, and equality. And being a Christian of his time, Hans placed many of his characters and their secular struggles within a religious context, where reward for a life well lived came in the afterlife. Reading through all these tales, you get to know Hans a little bit. Much of what he writes in his fairy tales is autobiographical, or at least draws on his life experience, and very much represents the perspective of the common man, at a time when freedom and democracy and the rights of the common man were resonating throughout Europe and America. Innate talent and goodness offered a path to success beyond the trappings or advantages of birth. Hans climbed out of abject poverty through his own talent and hard work. That experience would color much of his writings. His works draw the curtain back a little bit on his personal life and describe his youth, his childhood of poverty, his father introducing him to stories such as Arabian Nights before his untimely death, his mother's hard scrabble struggle to provide, his awkward physical appearance and social discomfort, which just like today gave an easy target to the brutes and the bullies of his time, his move to Copenhagen and efforts to become a singer, actor, and dramatist, then his studies paid for by a royal benefactor, but where he suffered depression as a result of his treatment by his schoolmaster his university years, and his early success as a novelist, and later what grew into his lifetime of travel. Hans is a Danish national treasure. Before his death in 1875, Denmark commemorated its most famous author with a statue, unveiled four months before he died. Since then, Hans has been remembered with statues and memorials and plays and movies and poems and adaptations of his tales, and airports, and awards, and celebrations throughout the world with no signs of letting up. Hans Christian Andersen, the awkward youth from Odense, a small town on the island of Funen, rose from poverty and through the strength of his imagination and hard work, became a revered storyteller whose tales have contributed to modern culture around the world. So dig in. Enjoy one or two or or more, as read by a fan.